Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM. Time to check back in with Big Brucey Phillips. Got his finger on the pulse when it comes to all country sport in South Australia. There is no doubt about that. And we've had some news come out in the last couple of days. This has been building up, Bruce. Uh, good to be with you, by the way. How are you getting on? Yeah, not bad, mate. How are you going there, Ellis? And uh, good to be back. Now, Bruce, we're talking about some of the ex Mali football league clubs they're amalgamating and identities are being revealed lots going on what do you know yeah look it's uh, it's been brewing up and probably as big as that uh, that storm we had uh, overnight but uh, pun intended mate at, yeah it's, it's exciting for the uh, for the competition and exciting for the for the region um, look uh, how it's all going to pan out moving forward well that remains to be seen I think the uh, the SANFL has still got to put the rubber stamp on it all, but uh, the River Murray have accepted the newly formed uh, Karunda and uh, Peak Amalgamated uh, side, which is now called the uh, the Mallee Storm, and of course uh, the Suns, the combination of uh, Pinaroo and of course uh, Lamaru, the uh, sides out there ending in Roo uh, to be of course the uh, the Suns. So it's uh, it's exciting, and they move into a new era, and it's going to bring uh, two clubs into one. I'll be very interested to see how it goes out there at uh, at uh, Peak and Karuna, because uh, an old mate of mine told me out there, he, he said a few weeks ago, it would never happen, because uh, Karuna and Peak didn't like one another, but uh, look, it's going to be different now, isn't it? They're going to be uh, matched together, and uh, it's going to be exciting times. The River Murray will move into a nine-team competition, so they won't uh, get rid of the five. That'll still be in the program, and it'll be uh, pretty much uh, an even 18-game season. So uh, with the Storm in and, of course, the Suns. And also, let's not forget to Ellis, while we think about it, the uh, the Coorong Cats, of course, the third new formed club with the amalgamation of the Meningi Football Club down there on the uh, Princess Highway and, of course, the... Uh, the Canalpin combination with uh, Tintinara, the Porter Down Tintinara combination there, which was formed a, a good 20 years ago, uh, moving in with Meningi. Um, so uh, three new clubs. It's uh, a lot of hype around the town talking about it, so how it's all going to pan out. Look, myself, um, you look at it, uh, there are some players that have already moved on. So these new clubs are going to have to... Uh, to recruit the likes of uh, what a male medalist in the Mallee Football League, Nathan Brown. He'll coach the Roe Brewsters down there in the Mid South East Football League. So he's already uh, hopped on a train and uh, uh, or a bus, whatever you want to call it, and made his move. Nathan Stark, the uh, coach of the Border Down Centenara combination last year in the Mallee Football League, he'll have a new home this year and he'll be uh, coaching the Tail and Bend Football Club. So look, uh, uh, some of these big players in that competition have already made moves. So, uh, you know, there probably was that percentage of people thinking, you know, we're going to have this bloke and we're going to have that bloke and some of these players aren't playing now. So these clubs will have to recruit um, because I can tell you the Mallee Football League uh, stand nowhere near the River Murray. So uh, these clubs will have to uh, recruit to to be able to be competitive um, in in the River Murray. I'm not expecting them to be overly competitive uh, the first year, but they will have to recruit a couple, uh, two or three big gum players. Um, Pinaroo, of course, uh, they're probably, uh, uh, with Lamaru, uh, I'd say they'll probably go a little bit better than Crooner and Pete on paper at the moment. But uh, looking at those uh, colours, of course, the, uh, the Suns will have the orange and the charcoal, uh, the charcoal colour. Uh, they haven't actually adopted a, uh, a Guernsey as such with uh, the emblem and, and so forth yet. That hasn't sort of been... Uh, uh, published, but uh, I think they've got a competition out there for somebody to draw it up uh, happening. But uh, yeah, they'll certainly look different. The Suns with the uh, with the I'm sure there'll be a picture of a, of the Sun probably on the Kernsey, but uh, uh, that's uh, the uh, the Suns. And of course the the Karuna one. Well, that's again out for uh, uh, those ones that want to draw up something. Those artists and go in a competition there. But the colours are very similar to Port Power. So uh, for the uh, the uh, Karunda and Peak uh, merger of the uh, of the storm. So, uh, look, uh, that's all to be uh, decided and uh, come out shortly. I suppose in the next week or two, the uh, yeah, to what the Guernseys will look like. 
it's certainly going to look something different, isn't it? Running around in River Murray with the the, uh, the orange and the charcoal, and of course the uh, Port Power style uh, colours for the uh, for the storm. But it uh, all uh, looks good for uh, for the the region, and uh, look uh, all the best to all uh, as uh, that moves forward in 2023. And just from an amalgamation point of view, does that not strengthen the recruitment drive, Bruce? Obviously, going from a league that's pretty solid to a league that's uh, a much more fierce level, if I can say that as respectfully as possible. Uh, just the sides amalgamating, does it not do anything based on the experience you've got of covering football at all of the respective levels in the country? Well, as I said, you've got, uh, you know, there's a few players that have moved on already. So, uh, you know, two or three players in those sides. So, uh, you know, that uh, you know, all remains to be seen. That'll all come out in the wash, obviously. But, uh, you know, Karuna losing Nathan Brown, a male medalist is a big loss. And uh, he's a big game for the Roe Brewsters down there. And likewise, um, uh, Nathan Stark, the coach playing coach at uh, Border Down Cinerara, of course, uh, this year will be playing coach at Tail and Ben, so he'll go up against his old teammates down there. So, gee, won't that be a good old doozy in the first match But uh, when they clash together? But, um, look, uh, yeah, it remains to be seen. Uh, yeah, look, like I said, they're going to have to probably recruit a couple of players. Um, look, we've seen both standards uh, personally here, uh, live streaming both River Murray and Mallee, and uh, look, River Murray certainly a lot stronger competition. So, uh, Look, uh, I guess time will tell, and uh, look, we wish them all well. Uh, while we're at it, Dallas, we'll uh, continue the sport around the region and look at some uh, Murray Town cricket results. Well, it really is uh, building up uh, this weekend. We live stream the massive match, the two unbeaten sides, Wanderers and the uh, the Premiership favourites, My Palonga. And uh, last weekend's results, Wanderers all out for 138, and they defeated Karunda on 95. And that was a great win there for the Wanderers Cricket Club. Uh, and that keeps them unbeaten. Madam played Michael Longer in our live stream match last week. They batted first and made 125. And uh, the glue man, uh, Nick Linder, he made 68. And he was in tremendous form. Uh, Aaron Drim, uh, the best player in Murray Town cricket over the last 20 years, picked up three wickets. Maipo in their say, four for 126. And they did it pretty easily in the end. Well led by the Jamar man, Jared Marston, who picked up 60 runs in just a, a class performance and might both stay unbeaten. The other match last weekend was uh, Minato playing at Tail and Ben. And in uh, this one here, Tail and Ben batted first. And they fared a lot better than uh, the week before when we live streamed them, where they were all out for about 40. And last week, uh, a much more respectable score of 132, which gave their bowlers something to bowl at, but Minato was too strong. And they came home with the return of their main men, Jacob Rant and Ty Pfeiffer. Rant, 59, if you don't mind. And Ty Pfeiffer, 20 not out. To steer the Black Cats home, 5 for 133 to take the victory in round four of Murray Town Cricket. Uh, with that win, uh, it sees the uh, the premiership ladder. Uh, currently, uh, uh, as I said, uh, Michael Longer and Wanderers on top. And they're unbeaten on 40 match points. Manum are in third with 20. Monado on 10 make up the four with that. The win last week. Karunda on six. Now they should be 10. So they've lost four points there for some sort of uh, uh, indiscretion. Now I'm not sure what that was. Whether it's an unregistered player, I'm not sure. And Tail and Ben on the bottom. The yet to record a win. Let's have a look at this week's game quickly. And it promises to be a blockbuster weekend of Murray Town cricket. And uh, we've got the big uh, live stream match of the two unbeaten sides. And this should be a beauty. Uh, it is uh, Michael Longer at home taking on Wanderers. And this should be a magnificent game. Two undefeated sides. And we expect this to be a high special in our live stream. The Tigers versus the Woohoos. I think Maipo just got a little bit too, more, uh, too much experience and should get the job done. Manum at home play Monado. Monado come off a good win last week. Manum? Back to the pack with that loss, but I still think they can regroup with Linda, Muirhead and Crowley and get the job done over Rance and Pfeiffer from the Black Caps. And the last game's at Tail and Ben in the almost a Mallee shootout, isn't it? Tail and Ben taking on Karunda. Long time since these two play- sides have played each other in Murray Town's cricket. 
look, Karuna would go in, they're chock full of confidence. They've got Cox and Ballard who are playing good for them and Shane Pate, and that should be uh, should get them home against uh, Taylor Byrne, who are relying on uh, Badu and a few of their imports um, from the uh, Afghanistan nation. Uh, so, uh, look, it, uh, it promises to be a big round of Murraytown cricket. Looking forward to that live stream on Saturday with uh, my Palonga hosting Wanderers. And I hope you can join us then. And uh, that's a bit of a coverage of what's happening around the, the grounds here in the Maryland. Uh, that is the voice of Bruce Phillips. He's got his finger on the pulse of local cricket and football in South Australia. Well, coming up next, we'll cross back over the border into Victoria and back into Oyen, where we got things going tonight. We're going to be chatting with Dom Leach, the president of the Oyen Rams Cricket Club. That's coming up next.